So Michael Sam, the gay, openly gay football player who came out before he was picked for a team, uh, was cut, you know, he was cut from, originally from the team that uh, drafted him, where they staged this big, dramatic, openly gay kiss on uh, national football, or ESPN uh, draft choice, uh, draft pick, right? And that team dropped him. The Cowboys picked him up uh, for the practice teams, and he has now been cut from the Cowboys practice team. He was, he was crying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know people are going to say, oh, you're so insensitive for laughing. I'm not politically correct. I'm sorry. I'm libertarian. I don't, I don't add a here to that malarkey. Here's a grown man crying because he was cut. Now, I don't think he's very intelligent. I don't think he's intelligent at all. He's not smart at all. One of the insiders said he was completely stupid for doing that. Because when you go to the national football, when, when you're at, the, when you're in the big leagues, you are no longer Michael Sam. You become Michael Sam Incorporated, right? Do you, under, you understand what I'm saying? Let's hearken back to an, another, a completely separate, different story that I know everybody saw. And that was Jay Z getting onto an elevator with his wife, Beyonce, his bodyguard, and Solange, Beyonce's sister. And Solange went crazy and started kicking, spat, uh, spitting, scratching, and uh, trying to punch Jay-Z. Now, what did Jay-Z do? Absolutely nothing. Now, he may or may not have known cameras were around, but he did absolutely nothing. Now, why did he do absolutely nothing? Because he is Jay-Z Incorporated. He's not just Jay-Z. He's Jay-Z. I don't think, you know, I'm sure his name is not Jay-Z. He's Jay-Z Incorporated. He has to uphold an image at all times. As soon as he steps out of that house, he has to have as they say, makeup, he has to have his makeup on, he has to have his smile on, he has to be, he has to be ready to go, whatever his thing, uh, I'm sure that's not his persona, but his per, her, I think his persona is a uh, tough rapper guy, right? He has to have that on 24 hours a day when he steps outside of his house. So, an idiot girl spitting and kicking at him doesn't even phase him. Hmm? And he has people to handle it for him anyway. And he cannot be caught beating the crap out of some crazy lunatic woman uh, kicking and scratching him, right? And spitting on him, right? This guy, Michael Sam, didn't, doesn't get it. Didn't get it, doesn't get it, right? First of all, he's not that great. He's not a, he's not a good football player to begin with. He was picked second to last in the last round of the NFL pick, right? Uh, NFL, NFL draft. Before he does this, he gets on national TV and reveals that he is a homosexual. He likes having sex with men. First of all, when have you ever heard of anybody getting on national TV and saying, hey, I'm a big football player and I like to fiddle with children. I mean, I like to masturbate in the shower. I like, you know, who cares? That's not why people even watch you. That's not even why people who do know you know or uh, want to see you. They don't care about that. He didn't understand. He doesn't get it. He still didn't get it. An insider said the first team that picked him dropped him like a bad habit. First of all, because he, he sucked anyway. But he dropped him like a bad habit when all of this drama was coming up. They were like, okay, he's gay. But he didn't just go, he's gay. He was going to do a reality show. Oprah was going to make this big production and, and this was going to happen and that was going to happen, blah, blah, blah. And his, uh, and his jersey was selling like hotcakes because all the gay people rushed to, to go buy it because gay people don't understand when they're being exploited. They have no idea. They don't, they don't get it either. So this guy, this, that team dropped him like a bad habit because they said it was just too much. Yeah, he sucked. But still, it was just too much. It was just too much. They may have kept him if he hadn't done all this drama stuff. You you don't tarnish your name. And I'm sorry to tell you people, 
people in the political correct arena, that is not cool. You may try and force people to, to talk about gay marriage or talk about acceptance when you, you're not accepting yourself, which I think is a, a big friggin' hypocritical stance to even pick. It's like the women who say you don't treat us equal and then demand that uh, men be in a subservient position to women. And then if you bring that up, they say, well, that's what you did to us. I've never treated anybody uh, to be subservient except for my servants. And I've had them. And I don't treat women like that. I don't say, hey, go get me a, go get me a soda now. <laughs> anyway, I never said that to my servants anyway. But I did say, let's, uh, you will escort me to this and the other. And the only thing they can say is yes, right? That's, that's, that's their job. I've never treated a woman like that. I've never treated anybody else like that, right? Or said anything like that because that's not their job and I don't feel to be in that position. But people don't understand when they're being exploited. This guy was exploited and ruined his life. And he still doesn't get it. I guarantee you, he still doesn't get it. I don't care if you really think the majority is wrong. In business, and this is, and, and, and we're talking about business here. We're talking about the NFL. We're talking about you. You could potentially make millions and millions of dollars and end up being a millionaire or a billionaire who, depending on who, who you are, right? Depending on all your, of all the other stuff that comes with it, right? All the endorsements and all the business opportunities that come with it. It's a business. You're not Michael Sam. You're Michael Sam Incorporated. And, and I don't care if you think the majority's wrong and, and they're evil and blah, 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 blah. If the majority says homosexuality is wrong, all you have to do is go, yes, it is wrong. Why? You're doing business. And people say, well, that's evil. Oh, you know what? In business, there is no evil and good. There is only the bottom line. I see a guy who's selling a house. Let's put it in layman's term for $50,000 and I talked him down to selling it to me for $30,000 turn around and sell it to somebody else for $50,000 is that evil no that's just the bottom line if he didn't want to sell it to me for $20,000 he wouldn't have sold it to me for $20,000 so it's not evil or good it's just business so if they say we don't want homosexuals on our team you go yes I'm not a homosexual Give me the million dollars. It's it's a business. It's not a charity. It's not a feel good program. It's a business. Why would you get on national TV and announce that you'd like to take it up the butt? Why? Why? Who cares? Why? Why? Why must you do this? And somebody convinced him to do this. He didn't mastermind this. He didn't call over to ABC, NBC, and CBS and say, "I'm gonna. I would like to set up a press conference." I'd like to set up an interview and I'm going to reveal, reveal something that's going to blow your socks off. You're going to make so much money off of my story. And I'm not going to get a dime of it. He didn't set that up. Trust me, he didn't. And in fact, I don't even have to go look that up. He didn't set that up. He was being exploited from A to Z. Now the Cowboys has, have kicked him off of their practice team. Now where is he going? Nowhere. This is the second team that he's been kicked off of in the NFL. NFL NFL days are gone. He better get all sorts of homosexual endorsements. I think that's the only thing they can do. And can, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to make a lot of money. Yeah, no, people say, oh, homosexuals are really rich. They're really rich, but they're 1% of the population. Why, do, why, why does Walmart exist? Because there's tons of poor people out there who will give you $10 at a time. They can afford $10 and they'll give it to you at a time. But there's millions and millions and millions and millions of them. You don't have millions, millions, millions of gay people. If you, if that's, if that was your trick, that you're going to go serve, uh, have your clientele be the gay people, the gay population, you will not get rich. Unless you're selling something that's million, worth millions of dollars, a pop, right? That's the only way you can do it. If you are selling something that's worth millions of pop, and I don't think he's that, that type of guy. I think he's dumb. His actions are unwise. Here you go. You're done with the NFL. Now what are you going to do? They exploited you. 
you were the it guy for what uh half a year your 15 minutes of uh, fame are up they're gone they're history and i guarantee you next year they won't even know your name what did you get out of this nothing you were used black people stop letting yourself be used I don't care if you are the biggest homosexual in the history of homosexuals. You, you are, are Michael Sam Incorporated. Are you a homosexual? No. Where do I sign the contract? Where do I sign? And I want endorsements too. It's business. Learn it. Learn the dance. Learn the game. And, and if you say... Well, I wouldn't want to live. This is business. We're talking about. We're talking about millions of dollars. We're talking about business. Oh, oh, I would rather be broke. Okay. Then that's you. You're a fool. In this life, in 2014, in the United States of America, millions of dollars get puts you into a position that 99% of the population cannot even understand. And then you get into a position of power that you can't understand. When you have millions of dollars at your beck and call, you are in a whole nother ball game. I know I talk about a lot about these uh, little news stories and this, blah, 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 blah. I'm talking about you're in a whole nother ball game when you are worth millions of dollars. I think Michael Jordan came from hum humble beginnings. Do you think he, his brain even processes thoughts? the same way he did when he was a, a freshman in high school? No, no, not at all. Not even close. I guarantee you he takes for granted things now that he dreamed of before because it was so unattainable for him. That's what millions of dollars does for a person. And there's so many ignorant people. I, I, I would rather be broken. Money's evil. But you're, you're a fool. Wisdom says, get the million dollars and then you can change the world, right? Oh, you don't think that's right? Ask the Vanderbilts. Ask the Morgans. Ask the Rothschilds. What kind of brain processes do those people have just because they have money? Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.